okay in this video let's uh, discuss how vertical stretch and horizontal stretch or vertical compression and horizontal compression how the points move now here is a graph the full graph of sine trigonometric function and i use a multiple of pi by 60 or all this until 2 pi and you can see all these points can be seen from minus pi by 2 Okay, now the question is if I change the number, let's see, so these are all the, the whole graph can be seen, and the period of this is from 0 to 2 pi. Any, anything from 0 to 2 pi, the same graph continues. So that we have seen in the previous video. My this video is more about understanding vertical stretch and vertical compression and horizontal stretch and horizontal compression. So let me put up another one here. Let me write down y equals and write maybe 2 sine of x. So what change do we see here? So the original graph is the orange graph. There you go. And this point. Now look, this point, what change did you see from this point? What, what did take place? Is you see that the x coordinate stays the same. But the y coordinate 1 gets multiplied by 2. And that's because we use the 2. So the, if whatever the number here is, that's the number in the, the graph gets stretched by scale factor of 2. And that 2 also is, if you take the absolute value, is the magnitude or the distance of the original graph. This one, orange one, from the, here the midline is the x-axis for the sine graph. So it's the distance from maximum to the halfway down between the maximum and the minimum. This is the minimum. That's the minimum. So the half average of both will be a zero here. Yeah, see now. So this point got stretched here, and likewise, what about this zero zero? The y coordinate. So that means the y coordinate gets stretched up. See this part. So the zero times two is zero here also zero times. But if you see this point minus one times. 2 is minus 2. There you go. See? So that's what we learn from what is the meaning of vertical stretch. So uh, understanding the vertical. What, what is about vertical compression? Instead of uh, 1, the 2, I'm just writing 1 divided by 2 and then sine of x. We have another graph. Okay. So I'll take off the 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 uh so basically when the number which is before the sign sign is a uh, greater than one now this two three four uh let me take this off just want to show if this was three see how that graph gets stretched this time it goes from the y coordinate is one but here it gets multiplied by three so it gets vertically but if we put half x and then you see this the y coordinate one which you see right here now it is half of the one. So the y coordinates is multiplied by the uh, the number half. This half is multiplied to the y coordinate one, which is 0 0.5. So it becomes half of that. So the trick is remember uh, if it is a fraction which is 0 to 1, then the graph gets compresses vertically from this point, it went down. So it could compress the graph. The 0, 0, they stay the same, but the 1, minus 1, this minus 1 shifted to minus 0 0.56. So basically, any fraction before the half, that means the graph gets uh, compressed or shrinks. Another word is, is stretch, uh, stretch and shrink also. Okay, so this is about uh, understanding the vertical stretch and vertical compression. The main trick is if the number is greater than 1, there is a vertical stretch. If it is fraction, there is a compression. Now let's see what about the other part. Instead, will you inside whatever that, if the coefficient in this case is 1 times, what if it was 2 times? Let's see what did take place. So I'm changing this to 2 and see how it changes. Now, what this sine raised to 2x basically means also i wanted to make sure we understand this part it is divided by sorry 
I will have to do open and divide by two. Okay, I'm sorry, divide by half. So that two, which is you see right here, which you see, is basically x divided by. So that's a fraction. This is a fraction. So even though this number was two, but I write it as fraction. This way to show this fraction makes there is a vertical sorry the horizontal compression this is less than half i mean this is less than one and see how it works see this part so any point let's see this point was a pi by two look at this x coordinate is pi by two the original graph i'm talking let me click here so this is pi by two this point is pi by two one now because uh, the fraction is half right here. This point moves to the left. The y coordinate stays the same from pi by 2. So you times half, which is pi by 4. So this point goes right here. That's all it is. So this is called horizontal uh, horizontal compression or horizontal shrinking. So I hope that helps. Okay, one more point. Let's let's talk about this point. This was 3 pi by 2, right? So you, you kind of multiply half to this. So when you multiply half to 3 pi by 2, you become 3 pi by 4. So the original point, let's see any point. Like I, I would take, let's see if this is 5 pi by 6, right? So this, this point, this moves somewhere here. Now I'll have to type in 0 0.51 line here. Maybe I'll have to do y equals 0 0.5. Look at this. So the, the this point is on the orange graph, and now it went over here, the purple color. So half of pi by six is pi pi by twelve. So not just knowing that there is a horizontal shrinking like this, but you got to also know. Uh, wait one second. Uh, one second, where is that? Okay, let me use the color pen here, maybe this one. Okay, so you can see the original graph, this point, this part, this point. So this was the original graph that moves here left. So, and it goes to from the x coordinate five pi by six to five pi by two. So it is like half times five pi by six, which is five pi by twelve. That's it. So every point moves to the left. So this goes to the left. Everything moves to the left. This goes right here. Everything moves to the left. The this part. This goes, so this part goes right here. Everything moves uh, uh, half of whatever that is. Sorry, this, this, this will move, this part will move right here. So basically that's the point I'm making is how the X coordinate is changing, the Y coordinate does not change. That's all I wanted to show in this, uh, uh, in this presentation. Uh, Okay, here you go, and now, yeah, so this is all about understanding this, but then what about if it is, let's take this one was, on the outside, it was x by 2, it is half divided by 2, right, so it basically means it is x divided by 2, so basically it is x divided by 2, okay, and now what has, what's, what's changing is, see the, how the graph, uh, let me shrink this, in this case, uh, x over 2 changes to more of this, maybe 12 pi, just to understand. So the original graph was orange color. This is the orange color, right? So this is the orange color graph with the dotted one from 0 to pi. Now, this 2 pi, there is a 2. So because of this 2, you are multiplying by multiplying by 
So basically, when you have the two in the denominator, this is a greater than one, then the orange graph, which you see, it has to stretch horizontally. This means the x axis, that's x, x, x pi by two, that gets multiplied by two. So this this thing directly gets multiplied by uh, yeah, so you're basically multiplying by that two, which you see, this is the two. So when you multiply, see the bottom two, this point one will go to uh, the pi by two, multiply by two gives pi. And look at this point, this is three pi by two, multiply by two, the two will go when it, it will reach here, three pi. So whatever the point on the on this one, like so this one is pi pi by two, multiply by two, it go 10 pi by two. Uh, Sorry, I made a mistake. So th this is not the one, this one, see? So phi pi rho goes to this point, each of this point. So if this is the main pi, this become, it, it, this one moves to two pi. This three pi will move all the way to six pi. So you are just multiplying the x coordinate by two, and that's how you get the graph, uh, the horizontal stretch. So when you have the bottom number is two greater than one, so there is a horizontal stretch. Every x coordinate is shifts to the right. And here I can also put, maybe look at this point. If this is the point, pi pi is six, then it moves here. So it's twice of this. So if you do twice pi pi, pi, pi by six, it is five pi by three. That's all I wanted to show. Hope this helped. About what is the meaning of vertical stretch, vertical compression? Horizontal stretch and horizontal compression. Thank you for watching.